Hey, this is Tony Ross or TonyTeach.com, and this is going to be my first tutorial using uh, Toon Boom's Animate 2.0. And I um, wanted to just go ahead and show you something, uh, a couple little basic things. I'm going to create a simple little leg using the rectangle tools and showing how to manipulate that, and then go ahead and separate that uh, into different drawing layers and uh, go ahead and set up some hierarchy. Um, so I want to show you all this without actually drawing anything, just kind of show you how to use the, the little tools or primitives that are already there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to simply call this leg 01. And we'll say uh, create. OK. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm going to change um, from my animating setting here. I'm just going to set it up to default. I think I like working here better. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure my first frame is selected. And I'm going to select the rectangle tool. All right. And I'm going to simply click and drag a nice little rectangle. I'm just going to do a single leg here. Uh, but I'm just going to start from a little rectangle. I'm not worrying about the fill right now. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to my contour editor. Okay. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hold down my command key and I'll be control on PC. Simply click first to select uh, the rectangle. I'm going to click again. And this is adding an anchor point here. Okay. I'm letting go of the keyboard. I'm going to come down to the end here. And I'm going to click and pull out the line. Okay. So you can see this a little bit better. Let go of the mouse. All right. So we've got that going. All right. So we've got kind of an interesting little leg looking thing here. But you know what, dude? Your, your shoes are pointy. Let's, uh, let's round that out a bit. So I'm going to come here and click and pull out a little bit. Okay. And let go of the mouse and it's altered that for me. Looks pretty cool. Um, now the cool thing is if you get near the edges, you can kind of pull the anchor point. If you get near the path, of course, you can kind of alter it and kind of curve it out. So maybe our, let's get this a little bit closer. Maybe, uh, our little character, maybe his legs aren't exactly just straight there. Um, and maybe we can even pull this in a bit and pull the top out of a little more. Okay, so this is all that we've gotten so far just from a basic little rectangle. All right, now let's uh, move a little bit further. Uh, I'm going to go to my cutter tool and I'm going to come over here to my options and I want to make sure I've got it set to marquee. I don't want it set to lasso for what I'm doing. I'm going to simply click and drag and just to grab the foot here. Okay. If I grab a little extra, I'm not really too concerned. Okay. So I've got the foot. Now what I want to do is put this on its own layer. So I'm going to do command F9. That'd be control F9 on PC. And I'm going to simply call this foot. Of course, if we're doing two legs, there'd be a left foot and a right foot. Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure that uh, the cut artwork from source, I'm going to leave that deselected. I want to make sure that I still have something to go back to if I need to. So I'm going to click on OK. And if you notice, now foot is actually on its own layer there. And let's go back to our original. And just to make my life a little more easy, I think I'm going to go in here and grab the line tool. And I'm thinking, okay, dude, where's your kneecap? That's about, well, that looks good about right there. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is a couple of things here. I'm going to Go to my selection tool. Uh, right now, I'm drawing everything out separate. So um, this is my little main drawing here at the beginning. 
I want to select everything and let's flatten this. So I'm going to simply go to drawing, optimize, flatten. So hopefully this works. Yes, looks like it did. So now if I click on this, everything's selected. Good. All right, let's go back to our, oops, go back to our cutter tool. And I want to click and drag. Let's try that again. I'm going to click and drag. Um, try this one more time. There we go. Third time's a charm. Uh, I am selecting what's pretty much the calf, I guess, of our little character here. Uh, so I will do Command F9 again. Um, and we'll call this calf. All right. And looks pretty good. Let's go back to our normal drawing and let's grab the top part of this. And we'll do Command F9. And this is going to be our thigh. Excellent. All right. Now, if you look down here, we've got the foot, we've got the calf. And we got the thigh. Not bad, but they're kind of out of order. So what I want to do is make sure that this is kind of in reverse. Now, I'm going to make sure I'm going to pull this up, but not lay it on top of uh, one of my other layers. I need to make sure that it stays separate. So it should be the thigh. Then there'll be the calf. Now, if you notice, this little blue line shows up there. So it's kind of cool. Let you know. So it's the thigh, the calf, then the foot. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to turn off my bottom drawing layer there. And what I want to do for now, if you notice, I've been doing this whole, whole thing. I've actually had my animate um, turned on. Uh, what I want to do next is I'm going to go here and set up my pivot points. So let's click on the foot and grab our pivot point and we're going to say we're going to click right here exactly where we want our foot to be able to pivot around uh, about right there it looks good and let's go next to our calf so where do you want that to be able to go it's probably right here at where that line is and next we'll go to our thigh and we'll go up to the top here all right now We've got that done. 